This video shows the steel design. The steel design add-on design steel members for the ultimate and serviceability limit states, depending on the standard selected. Fire resistance design can also be performed. At the beginning of this tutorial series, we also activated the steel design add-on in the base data. Now that we have finished modeling and loading the structural model, we can look at the design situations relevant for the steel design and also create our own design configurations. In the last video, we calculated two load combinations. Now, let's click Calculate All to calculate all load cases and combinations. The steel design is also taken into account. During the calculation, you see that load cases and load combinations are calculated in parallel by several processors. The number of parallel calculations is determined by the number of cores your processor has. After the calculation, we can select Steel Design in the navigator to view the respective results. You can also find the available graphical results of the steel design in the upper part of the tree structure and their display type in the lower part of the navigator. To get a better overview of the individual design situation types, we jump to the steel design table and select the input data from the subcategory. In this table, you can now find all the design situations that were used for the steel design. The respective design type is automatically assigned to the correct situation by RFEM. In the second tab, you can find all design components based on the assigned materials and sections. Here, we can exclude individual components from the design, if desired. The materials and sections tabs show the relevant data for the steel design. We can skip them. In the following tabs, we see another innovation of RFEM 6, Design Configurations. Now you can assign an ultimate, serviceability, or fire resistance configuration to certain structural components without having to create a completely new design situation. To do this, we edit the desired members and go to the, Design Configurations, tab. Let's create a new ultimate configuration, for example for the adapted method according to NOMS. In the new dialog box, we enter the description in the empty field on the top and then adjust the desired parameters accordingly. The adapted general method allows the double bending design. We confirm this dialog box by clicking OK to create the new design configuration. In the tables, you can now find the configuration you just created and in the Members tab you can see which members it is assigned to. This was our insight into design situations and design configurations. In the next video, we will look at effective lengths and boundary conditions. Till next time.